The Concrete Bridge Modeler is a LARSA 4D AOM or Analytical Object Modeler application designed to speed the modeling of complex structures while preserving detailed FEM analysis and introducing new opportunities for information exchange. Like all LARSA 4D AOM applications, the Concrete Bridge Modeler utilizes modern parametric modeling techniques and a built-in library of 3D object-based structural components. High-level object models are generated by using girder, deck, and substructure parameters, which are automatically processed by the AOM system to create a companion analytical model based on the object model definition. The Concrete Bridge Modeler creates sub-objects based on the entered definitions. This includes girder, deck, pier, pier caps, and the other objects used to support modeling. These objects are created entering simple parameters such as station, section, and materials. Based on the information entered, sub-objects such as nodes, shells, or lines, which represent the beam elements of the model, are automatically generated by the concrete bridge modeler and used to create the analytical model. In this video, we'll illustrate how a five-span pre-stress I-girder bridge model can be created in minutes. After opening the Concrete Bridge Modeler, users are presented with a graphics view as well as explorers to quickly navigate the project and its model data and construction stages. For this video, we'll focus on modeling the geometry, utilizing geometry spreadsheets, the Project Explorer, and the Model Data Explorer. The modeling process begins by defining the bridge path coordinate system. Using this system, the bridge's alignment will be the coordinate system defined using the station, transverse offset, and elevation, instead of dealing with global XYZ coordinates. To define horizontal alignment, control points are entered, two of which are connected with a circular curve by default. The vertical as well as the horizontal alignments are defined by specifying the station, elevation, and grade values for the control points. After defining the bridge path coordinate system, the next step is defining support locations. Here we'll quickly paste our definitions, which will be used to create span sub-objects for each defined girder in the girder system. The girder system includes girders, section, material, and tendon layout objects. In the girder system spreadsheet, these objects are defined using simple parameters and automatically linked to individual girders. Girder sections can be defined by entering point coordinates of the cross section into spreadsheets, by entering section dimensions into section templates, or by rapidly bringing a section from LARSA 4D standard section database. When a custom section is defined by entering point coordinates, each section point can be defined as a stress point within the appropriate spreadsheet. Similar to standard sections, materials can be brought from LARSA 4D standard material database for the girders. Individual girders are defined with simple parameters using start and end stations and the transverse location at the start and end. Section, material, and tendon layout parameters defined for the girder system are automatically linked for each newly generated individual girder. The Concrete Bridge Modeler can also create straight girders between supports instead of curved girders when the alignment is curved, using the Straight Girder option in the Girder System Spreadsheet. The start and end station of created girders can be any support location. If the girder transverse offset varies between spans, multiple girder definitions can be entered. For each individual girder, the mesh density is linked from the girder system. After defining the girders, their refinement can be increased or decreased by simply entering the desired number of segments. If multiple refinements are needed for an individual girder, the segment parameter linked from the girder system can be broken and a new value for that segment's parameter can be input. This is done using LARSA 4D AOM's break link command, which can apply all parameters linked from the girder system. Once we break the link from the section in one of the girders, we can replace the section with a new one and continue to add a section template and define the shape parameters. To assign non-prismatic variation to girder objects, an equation can be defined for shape parameters. 
As we see, the top of the section can be aligned to the member reference line by using the Model Data Explorer. This way, depth variation will be with respect to the top of the girder. By resetting the individual girder's section, it links back to the girder's system section object. After creating the girders, tendons can be defined within each. To do this, we return to the girder system and double-click on the tendon layout parameter. Then select Geometry to open the spreadsheet where the geometry control points for tendons are defined. Here, the station input represents the longitudinal position of the tendon inside the girder. It's possible to define parameters as well as values for station input. Duct input defines the location of the tendon within the girder cross-section with respect to the section centroid. Different layouts are available to define tendon location on cross-section, and curvature input is used to define how the desired curve fitting is applied. If any modification is required in the tendon layout for an individual girder, the tendon layout link can be broken from the girder system and replaced with a new layout as needed. In the Modeler's Project Explorer, we can see the system of objects supporting our model. Based on the entered parameter values, we can see the sub-objects automatically generated that create the analytical model and conveniently view their properties in the Model Data Explorer. The Concrete Bridge Modeler includes three substructure templates, including Basic Bridge Support, Abutment, and Pier. The location of the substructure can be selected as the predefined support locations. Through the input of bearing properties, the pier cap and girder can be connected with DOF constraints or springs. Using Larsa 4D AOM, a defined object for a substructure can be copied and pasted as clone. Cloning creates a new object with the same parameters as the original, and there is no link between those similar objects. Alternatively, the Paste Link option can be used that enables pasting the contents of a cell as a dynamic link, so that whenever the copied value of the object changes, the parameters linked to that value will change automatically. For abutments, the Concrete Bridge Modeler provides default geometrical properties, which can be modified by the user as needed. For piers, the substructure material will be automatically linked to the pier cap and columns. If these objects need to have different materials, new materials can be entered in the pier cap and columns spreadsheet by again breaking the material link from the substructure. For the pier cap, section and overhang properties are defined in the appropriate columns. For columns, Foundation Elevation and Foundation Restraint, which defines the Z-coordinate and the support condition at the bottom of the pier column, column locations with respect to the bridge alignment, and column sections are all entered into the substructure spreadsheet. The defined column section can be viewed by right-clicking the column section object in the Project Explorer and selecting Create View. The deck object is created automatically when the concrete bridge modeler is initialized. Alternatively, the auto-created deck object can be removed and created after creating other objects. Objects of the concrete bridge modeler can be controlled through the Model Data Explorer. During the deck generation, the deck object is defined entering parameters for thickness, overhang, and super elevation. Here, the modeler provides users the flexibility to select shell element behavior and the design code that is used in time-dependent analysis. At support locations, we can create a gap and create non-continuous girders, where bearing properties for the left and right girders can be different and specified as desired within the spreadsheet. The created object model can then be exported to Larsa 4D supporting advanced considerations for analysis and modification. We hope you found this video helpful and we welcome you to contact us for more information on how the Concrete Bridge Modeler can enhance your workflow with new techniques for rapid modeling.